Understanding, Freeze for Later Use, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a very practical and useful phrase, freeze for later use. This phrase is commonly found in cooking and food preservation contexts, but it's also a fantastic example of how English language combines words to create specific instructions. Let's dive into what this phrase means and how you can use it in your daily life. Freeze for later use is a directive phrase that consists of three key components. Freeze. This verb refers to the process of turning a liquid or a soft substance into a solid by lowering its temperature below its freezing point, typically using a freezer. Four. A preposition that in this context is used to indicate the purpose of an action. Later use, this part of the phrase specifies the reason for freezing something, so that it can be used at a future time. When combined, these elements instruct someone to preserve food or another perishable item by freezing it so that it can be consumed or used after some time. Freezing food is a popular method of preservation because it retains the food's nutritional value, taste, and texture. Freeze for later use can be applied in various scenarios, such as preparing meals in advance to save time during busy days, preserving seasonal fruits and vegetables to enjoy them year-round, managing food inventory to reduce waste, Understanding this phrase is not only about language learning but also about gaining insight into a practical aspect of daily living. Let's see some examples of how freeze for later use can be used. Recipe instructions. After cooking the lasagna, allow it to cool completely. Then, divide it into portions and freeze for later use. Food packaging. You might find instructions on a bag of frozen vegetables stating, store in the freezer immediately and defrost as needed for later use. Daily conversation. I cooked too much chili this weekend, so I decided to freeze some for later use. These examples show the versatility of the phrase in various contexts, making it a useful expression to know. Freeze for later use is more than just a phrase, it's a handy tip for managing your kitchen more efficiently and sustainably. We hope this video has helped clarify its meaning and application for you. Remember, learning English isn't just about grammar and vocabulary, it's also about understanding the culture and practical aspects of everyday life. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to practice using this phrase the next time you have leftovers or prepare meals in advance.